going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing maintenance on my Honeywell built-in home generator. I'm going to be showing you guys what I used and how I performed the maintenance. Let's get into it. All right, so for the maintenance, I'm going to be using two quarts of oil, an oil filter, and I'll leave the link down in the description below to everything. Some brake clean, some paper towels, gloves, and a funnel and a place for the oil to drain. I also am going to be blowing some of the components out with this and a leaf blower. One of the first steps you're going to do is turn the power off. Sometimes your breaker is going to be up here, but on my model, it's on the side, so we're going to shut these off. And we're going to turn it off here as well. I just want to stop the video and tell you guys this is the right filter. The FS4386. The FS isn't relatively important when it comes to the Fram line. You just need to know the 4386. Any frame with 4386 should fit your generator. Next, we're going to be removing this front panel. And that's really simple to do. All you do is pull up and out. And that allows you to access the generator a bit easier. And we're going to start draining the oil. The oil outlets right here, you just undo it. So once you got the oil drain in place, you're just going to remove this cap and oil should start flowing out. You might have to remove this cap up here as well. And that's when the oil starts coming out. You need to get this as low as possible too. While I have the oil draining out, I'm going to take a look in here and make sure none of the wires have been chewed or eaten and there's no bird's nests. Take a look at the condition of the battery terminals, make sure they're tight. <clears throat> Everything seems to be okay. This seems to be a newer battery, so I'm not too worried about it, but you can put a voltmeter on it to make sure it is putting out at least 12 volts. I'm going to clean some of this out with the leaf blower when it's done draining. It take, takes a while to drain out. It's very slow. I am going to be wiping up some of this oil down here. I'll blow that out. Oh, lost my cap. Get all that wiped up. Keep it clean, get some of the cobwebs out, and then I'm going to come back and blow this out with a leaf blower. I am going to also check just to see the condition of the spark plug seems to be okay. You can pull it out and check it as well. Mine seems to be okay. I know this hasn't run much, but winter's coming. I want to make sure my house is going to be uh, powered. One of the things I'm going to check too while I'm waiting for the oil to drain is the air filter. Not just two latches and you pull it forward. Or back and forward. Back. I'm just going to check to see the condition of that as well. Seems pretty clean, so I don't need to change that. Once this oil's done draining, we'll change the oil filter and I'll show you guys me filling it up. All right, now that we have the oil stop dripping, we're going to cap this off with this cap. We're going to place it back up there. One of the things I am going to do to minimize the mess that's going to come out of this oil filter is I put a paper plate underneath of it and hopefully that'll catch all the oil. Now we're going to take the oil filter off. I am using a tool to take the oil filter off because somebody tightened it on there really good. I'm just going to move my oil drain so I can get it right to there. Let's move that right over. I'm going to put the oil filter on. Use some of the old oil to just lubricate that oil seal. You want to make sure you don't have another seal here. You just screw that on. And you just want to make this hand tight. You don't need to be tightening it up too hard. Hand tight should do just fine. All right, now that I got the oil filter back on and have placed the uh, the drain back up here and tighten it up. You want to make sure both are tight. And I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of brake clean. Just to clean up down here, I'm going to take a paper towel and 
wipe that all down. Just take the paper towel, give it a quick wipe, and then we're going to add the oil. So I've added one quart of oil so far. I'm just going to check the dipstick and see where it's at. At one quart of oil, I still need to add a little bit more. So we're going to add the second half a second quart. That's about half. Check the oil again. And about one and a half quarts is what this takes. It's a little bit over full, but that's okay. We're gonna start it up and check it afterwards. Remove the funnel. Put the cap back on. And we're just gonna go over everything real quick before we go starting this up. Again, we're gonna make sure the oil filter's tight. Make sure this drain hose is tight over here. I'm gonna turn it back on and see what happens. Come over here. We're gonna hit manual. Shut it off and now we're going to check the oil one more time just to make sure we have enough oil. And it's hard to tell. I'm going to give it one more dip. Yeah, one and a half quarts is enough, at least in my generator. And how much came out of mine. That's how you do the maintenance. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna take this leaf blower and blow everything out. Make sure I clean all the spider webs and whatnot. And... And one last time, we're gonna check the oil just to make sure it's right after all the oil's settled. And it still is full. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's how you change the oil on your Honeywell Generax built-in home generator. If you like this video, you'd like to see me more do more stuff like that, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.